Hello and welcome back everyone to our uh, Rocket Rabbit run through of Omega Ruby Randomizer. And in this episode we have successfully obtained our DNA from the last part. No, no, no. And we are attempting, yes attempting, to go and uh, go all, uh, get to uh, a lava ridge. Here I'm showing off the buddy hop technique that the Acrobike has access to. You need to use buddy hop in order to go down these, uh, go down these uh, rock slopes. Hey, a TM for Volt Switch. That's the Yay. one that uh, Watson was supposed to give us. Mm. Now, there are hidden items on this route, but there, but there, there's nothing that I that I personally care about. So. See me ride out up Mount Chimney, going up to Esper Shelby. You got a electric red name right you. I'm gonna. Throw a cactus. <laughs> curse. Mm, curse. Don't worry, it's not a ghost type curse. It, it was almost a ghost type curse. That could have been a ghost type Raichu. That could have indeed have been a ghost type Raichu. <laughs> it's not very effective, leading me to believe it's probably either steel type or psychic type. Ow! Now I don't even know what the fuck is happening. Oh, that's gonna be effective. Yeah, that was pretty effective. Dragon's Rage at this yeah, at this I'll... stage is pretty. Yeah, it's 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 kind of balanced. Uh, at this stage, yes, but anything that's under level twenty, Dragon Rage is almost a guaranteed one shot. It's actually really it's actually kind of stupid how powerful Dragon Rage can be. Right, and that's why the normal gameplay formula will forbid you from getting these easy wins early game. <laughs> but the randomizer will let you do it. <laughs> yep. We actually have to show off what Synchronize does. Yay! Hmm. Oh, isn't that the ability that says that you get the abilities or the status changes of your of the other Pokemon? No, that's Trace. Synchronize makes it so that uh, whenever you, uh, whenever an opponent inflicts a status condition on you, if they can be afflicted by that status addition, condition, they all, they uh, share in it. It's actually significantly better in the randomizer because a good portion of the Pokemon Burn. that can actually that actually can get hit by specific status conditions. Or rather, a good portion of the Pokemon that have Synchronize... Um, well, no, it, it is the other way. A good portion of the Pokemon that can inflict status conditions tend to have resistance to those status con conditions based on their type. Oh, For so example, um, well, Electric-type Pokemon are immune to paralysis. Right, and fire type Pokemon usually are immune to burning. Right. So now, in the event that you have a Pokemon with Synchronize and they get burned, the uh, the opposing Pokemon is not as likely to be uh, a fire type, so they can officially so they can then get burned by uh, their own attack. Yay! I was really trying to level up our our Zatanna because I because because Zatanna specifically is quite under leveled. Uh, for uh, for the next gym that we're going into, which by the way is the one at Lava Ridge. Go over the bunny so the bunny hops. Boop, 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 boop. It is pretty true to how the bunny hops were in the Game Boy Advance game. I I, I yeah. remember the bunny hops. Max Ether. There is another T. There is another TM slash major uh, item find on the other side that requires. I think it's a I think it's actually the mock bike that uh, that the other one requires. In order mm. to go pick it up. See, that side is hilly. This side is sandy. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. A nugget! Da -da. Yay! Wait, is that a team? No, is that... What is that no, guy? That's just a can that's just a camper. Uh, or rather, a uh, a kindler, if you will. Kindler, yep, yeah, because they run... They're the fire-type trainers. Because, uh, because all these people identify... I mean, all the Pokemon that these trainers have identify with the trainer. Hey, he's got a Dance Sight. Woot! He's got he's Dark and Water type. Yep. Sharpedo. And he's got Lightning Rod too, which is amazing because it makes it makes it so that if he would be effect, uh, uh, attacked, if he would be attacked. It, rather, in a double battle, if a, an electric type attack would go off, it instead is drawn to him and increases his special attack. 
Hmm. I notice he has Swallow, but he doesn't have Stockpile. Yeah. Because it is true, you can drink your own spit. And it is water, and it hydrates. But, I mean, I mean, you don't put it in a glass first, I mean, you just, you just swallow it. But, you know, imagine that, people have actually have to have it explained to them that you can swallow your own spit. <laughs> Mm. And here we have the herb shop. Actually, yeah, the herb shop is the other building, but... Eggs are gone. I wish mm. I could lay an egg. Yay, we finally man. found Zigzagoon. <laughs> <laughs> now, so it's new in the world of Cloud as we go shopping. Oh, man. Well, I'm, like, I was knee-deep in Bloodborne pretty much the entire of last week. Um, I'm rocking so many characters now that I need more than one PS4 in order to run them all. <laughs> ah. So I just finished Django yesterday, I'm pretty sure. I, I think he just needs a few more weapon enhancements. He's got a whip, and he counts two guns, neighbor. Um, and he's got a really cool hat, and I'm, I am really like his jacket, but I'm not sure if he has the right color pants. Sometimes people get it, and I do get good reactions from my characters. I think Django might be a little too obscure in order for people to actually recognize him. You know who's really recognizable is uh, Harry Potter. Her Harry Potter, uh, people tend... I, I think I might actually have a, a Harry Potter fan club. <laughs> yes, this uh, this camper is actually referring to the... Uh, the the lava, uh, the lava Rage cookie, and the Lava Rage cookie is, uh, is actually a cheaper full heal. It's actually very nice. Dance and soul make power. You understand, yes? Oh, I so said it, Richard. You take this and understand. Ooh, people. Ice Burn! That is the uh, signature attack of Kirim White? Yeah, Kirim White. Um, huh. English was his second language. He said swords as swords. <laughs> I'm uh, showing off it? that uh, that in the spa. this yes in in this uh it should be, <laughs> it, isn't it in this one no it's actually they in the better, other one okay right they gotta give you a good goddamn reason to come over here right otherwise what's the point <laughs> let's try this one put on your antennae oh there it is yep no 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 yep uh, yeah there we go it's a nice heal. I actually like that joke. It's a blowtorch. It is not a blowtorch. It is a icy hot patch. Icy to relax the pain and hot to dull the pain away. Um, I think in the in uh, the original Gen Three games, there wasn't there was another item that was actually bur that was actually buried in here. We're not picking up the egg that we can get because we have no intentions of hatching it now that we have our full uh, our full team of Justice Justice League, if you will. Right. D d don't listen to his advice. He he's no. What the hell? Hmm. Oh, uh, you don't remember this gimmick from Gen 3? Oh, they just animated it. They they, they really animated it now. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember. It's actually, you... it's, actually a, a, it's actually a hot spring themed instead of quicksand themed like it was uh, in Gen 3. But yeah, it is, it's effectively the same gimmick. The layout is drastically different. And I actually like this layout a bit more uh, simply because it's a bit more compact and easy to traverse. It looks a lot slower to go through, though. Oh, it's a lot slower. It is much slower to tra it's much slower it's much slower to traverse, but it's a significantly more compact. So it's actually you know, it actually utilizes its space better. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, right. That and that's that's Flannery up ahead. No, no, no. That's a that's not Flannery. That's Flannery on the right. Yeah. This is Battle Girl on the right here. What lovely blue hair. We're skipping a majority of the trainers to show off that it can actually be done. You you can get to Flannery without fighting any trainers. I think you can get to Flannery uh, without fighting any trainers except for, is it one or two? I think this, yeah, you can skip this guy if, you, if, um, if you're lucky enough to do so. And the uh, other guy that we'll be fighting later, I think you have to fight, but. Geodude. Well, here's a moderately type appropriate Pokemon. Not really. I mean, we're supposed to be in a fire gem. 
Yeah. You could teach Fire Blast to a Geodude. Uh, in Gen 1, and no other gens cannot get Geodude would learn Fire Blast. God damn it. Well, that's because Fire Blast stopped being a TM. I think. Um, no, no, it did not. It stopped being a TM in, in Generation 2, and then it returned to being a TM uh, after after that. And I don't remember what TM it is, because I don't actually use Fire Blast for anything. T TM 38 in Generation 1 was Fire Blast. Mm -hmm. Download. Download is a really interesting ability because it gives you um, uh, a stage up in either physical attack or special attack. God damn it, Winsome Cop, depending on your opponent's defenses. If they right. have lower physical defense, you will gain physical attack. If they have lower special defense, you will gain special attack. Hmm. Well, Download is honestly one of is one of the best uh, uh, one of the best status abilities in, uh, in the game, but the reason why it's allowed to be that is because it's attached to the Porygon line. Hmm. And as we all know, Porygon, the Porygon line is not actually all that good. Porygon Z is actually a great normal special attacker. The problem is that there's like exactly two nor uh, normal type special attacks that are worth running, and Porygon Z only gets one of them. I like that. I like that when Porygon finally got an evolution, they just called it Porygon 2. <laughs> well, Porygon isn't actually a naturally occurring Pokemon. It it was made it was a man named Pokemon on accident. Yeah. We tried so to the create fact the that world's it actually has the Pokemon. fact that it actually has evolutions is really fucking weird to me. We tried to create the most awkward Pokemon. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> we've succeeded. <laughs> Uh, I disagree with that. To be perfectly honest, I think Porygon. I think Porygon specifically is actually one of the more one of the more normal Pokemon. I mean, have you seen uh, fucking? Uh, have you seen fucking uh, Sovali and uh, and what's his base form? I, God damn it! Uh, Sableye? No, no, not Sableye. Uh, Seviper. No, no, not not Seviper. Uh, it's Sylvali. And type null, yeah. Well, you got me there. This, yeah, this is the guy that I don't think you can skip. I think you have to fight this trainer, but he's the only one. Mm. Kindler and Lee with his Pachirisu. Pachirisu hey, is adorable. Hey. He's a squirrel. Uh, Pachirisu is the Gen 4 Pika clone. He is very cute, but... um. Uh, people only recognize Pachirisu for exactly one event that he was part of. He is the reason why Pachirisu, uh, Pachirisu is actually a world champion Pokemon, thanks to pretty much exactly one dude uh, using him as a uh, as a redirect tanker. And um, it's supposed to be the lesson that we're supposed to take from that is that if you can bring any Pokemon and make it competitively viable, but that but that straight up ignores a, a lot of the circumstances that made Pachirisu viable in the first place. And in the next part, we will successfully take down Flannery. She's just right there, after all. Yeah, We made it. 